well now we're going to start on the wing but first I need to well tend to the workflow a little bit I've already made a start before commencing this tutorial um, you'll notice that I've hidden a lot of our frame helpers the only ones I've kept is the wing base here WB and J which is this section here I've also created another layer called front wing and that's checked so anything we create now is going to be stored within that layer um, I don't really need to see the fuselage so we can hide that and everything's fine now so we can basically make a start I'm going to pop into our left view so I hit L on the keypad or keyboard let's zoom in a little bit there we go that's what we're looking for we'll go to our create panel and this time we'll start out with a box so select our box salmon pink where do they get these colors from so we drag and click that to there and then we're going to push it back a little bit and then left click the mouse to complete the action let's have a look hit F4 why can I not see segments that's why so length segments shall we say two for that width segments let's have a look one two I'll put four in for that one height segment will leave as one I don't like that pink so onto our steel grey happy with that part so let's now convert that to an editable poly now we can pop into our root section and we'll look at the vertices here put vertices on um, yep right let's select these and hit W for our move and select tool I'm just staying outside this time of our frame helper area and that's uh, just to help us with the turbo f uh, turbo smooth a little bit later on let's bring that down there then that up to there we could of course modify these a little bit later so this is just basically a rough section at the moment pull that to there, that one's fine that one up a little bit and this one coming down likewise with that one and that one we'll just pull that one in the middle all I want is a little bit of a curve on this leading down to this edge here so like that one pull that to there that one will take up a little bit and that one will pull down just to about there and on second thoughts let's just move these two over here a little bit more it's like that one pull it up there there is a reason which will become evident in a moment fine now let's go to our top view so we're going to hit T zoom out pull across come up to the root section here and take that up to there just move it there a little bit zoom in a touch more go down to vertices select this edge here let's pull it out over to that section there hit alt x for transparent mode I'll 
I'll just extend these vertices onto the end there. Now if we select our scale tool by hitting R, we can scale these down a little bit, about there, select a move tool, pull it up, and that needs scaling just a little bit more, so hit R key again, scale it down to about there, that looks OK. Now if we go to Edge, select all those edges there, and we're going to pop down into our Connect section, hit that. In this instance we need two. Let's pinch them out, line it up to that section there. We'll say OK for that, but then we're going to go to our vertices again and just move these sections here hit our W key move those up to there now I can select edge again and this time I need to select these edges here so that's those there and pressing the control key I'm going to select those edges running along there then if we pop back down to our connect, this time I only want one, so no pinch, and we need to adjust that along this line here, which is the division for our aileron and our flap there. And that's why we moved those vertices out of the way that formed that line there. Because I knew we'd have to put that one in. Happy with that? Say OK. And I'm just going to pop up to our Layers Manager, um, Frame Helpers, and I'm going to hide J. Because it's in the way at the moment. Middle Mouse key to scroll across or pan across we'll zoom in here into our vertices I select those and move them over to there select these to there what we're doing now is moving our vertices over to fit our profile down there. Take these down. One there. Now there's a centre one there. That's why we have a bit of a problem in that section. Well, sorry about that, the system crashed again, but we are back to the position we were at, so let's continue. Well, now I need to pop into Perspective View, so hit P, let's just zoom out a little bit, select what a vertices for the time being, and then we can pivot around that. Just pop in a little bit more. Now what we need to do is actually select the top row of vertices and the bottom row along there. So start with that one and that one. I'm holding the alt, uh, control key as I do so. And you see that little plus sign on the cursor. That's just those sections there. Let me zoom around. Drag that and we're pulling it inwards. And I'm watching that one there. It mustn't get too close. That's fine there. Now if we pull down, we've got these two to sort out here. There's one there and one there. So click away. Click on that one, then 
click on that one let's pull that in to about there now that should have left us with that edge protruding out to there okay zoom around again and we need to just sort that one out pulling it back and in just a little bit zoom out that's looking okay fine and let's zoom around so I can see this properly pan down go up to the root section and we're going to apply a quick turbo smooth see how it looks well that doesn't look too bad I'm just looking at this edge down here perhaps that could do with um, stiffening up so a supporting band close to there but overall let's have a pop in see how close we are uh, it might crash again pull out so we can see here that we may have to make some modifications just in this section here okay let's um, remove the turbo smooth let's delete it well see how we go with vertices grab that pull them out a little bit grab those two there pull them down do two there something's playing up on the uh, machine okay up to root again apply the turbo yep still needs a little bit of sorting out around there but I'm not too worried at the moment so I'll delete the turbo okay so we'll continue this in the next session so I'll catch you in a bit mm -hmm.